Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we will show you how to remove or replace the engine cover, upper engine cover on ML320 or 430. Uh, the W163, I think it will even work for ML350. Stay with us guys, we'll show you how to do that now. Uh, this is the engine cover that we need to remove. We're gonna do some work, so we're gonna show you how to remove that thing without breaking it, what you need to expect and uh, what you need to check before you install it. So you know it's going to be good uh, stuck there, otherwise it might rattle, it might crack, it might create some noise. So stay with us guys, please subscribe, help us grow that channel together. Okay guys, so that's the engine cover here now, we need to remove that one. So you need to grab it on this side first, pull slightly on this side, then uh, on the back there is nothing there. There is one more clip here, it's a rubber seal. Okay, we'll show you how to do that now. Okay, and, okay, just like that, there is one more in the back. You have to be careful, very careful not to break that hose. That plastic hose, that's a vacuum hose. So now you need to pull it in an angle, okay? And careful with the mass airflow sensor here, okay? And it's gonna come like that. Always, always, you wanna make sure that that piece right here, it's still there. You have the rubber bushings here, okay? You can see that's the one holding. There is only three spots holding. And sometimes uh, those will come off, so you need to make sure they're still there. So we have one bushing here, one in the back over here, and then you have one there. And ours on the very back right here, okay, you can see, okay, this one is good. This one there, okay, that's broken for some reason. Somebody didn't pull it apart before the right way. This one should be here to hold the holes on the bottom. Okay, like that, but ours is cracked, so we're going to glue it together and it should be fine. It doesn't hold too much here. It's mostly on those three bushings. Okay guys, you can see how much room you have now to work on things if you need to. Uh, it's really accessible now. Let me turn the light on. You can see ignition coils, power plugs uh, are easier to reach that way. Uh, intake boot on the inside there, so many many things secondary air pump here egr valve so uh that that will be the procedure guys now we are going to go install it to show you how to do that you need to kind of like go a little bit in an angle so you don't break that holes there you need to make sure that it's going where it's supposed to go everything's lining up good and you're going to gently tap it okay until it clicks okay just like that and it's right there now guys so uh that's how you remove or replace engine cover on uh, W163 guys. Thank you guys for watching. Many more videos to come. Please subscribe. See you next time.